painter. Your garden pond is voiceless, save waxy emerald lily pads. Live lilin canvas before the water, voiceless, off white as an eggshell. Your clock creased hands, Javerni's Javerni's pond reflects, denies bark dry palms its night black wet. Forests of leaves and trunks reflected within the night black stir, as your thought pale forehead nestles your left hand. You almost forget it's spring. The willow hangs her hair, a ghostly Miss Havisham, over Giverny's pond. Her tips taste the night black, while the bristles of your brush tempt the oils. Instead, you place the wooden brush aside, stumble downwards, pale-headed, knuckle-wrinkled, to the edge of the still voiceless night black. Dip your hand inside. Fiery orange streaked in black. The tiger searches, surges forth. He snarls, exposes the pink, shocking tongue. Face and breast mottled in blinding white, with fangs as fearsome as the grin of God. Your pallid hand shoots back, slow as a man. The tiger jerks forth, pelt liquid slick. Jaws canyon wide, with stench hot saliva, at the hand, that hand, your hand, cobra quick. Metal fierce fangs clamp, machine like, tear, your sweating flesh, sever, your veins infecting the pumping red as the tiger falls back and your fingers wreck and snap. Monet trembling removes his hand from the pond, the liquid undulates. Pellucid circles magnify, to gently sway the lily pads. His forehead pulses with the heat of the tiger. His hand sweats like a stallion inspired. Still, the night black reflects the forest of his garden, which stirs as the breeze slides incessantly across his brush. It is summer, sunset. And your pond dazzles in auburn. A fearful fire beats beneath your palms. Oils swirl and flood your canvas. Mauve, orange, emerald. The willow's dry hair dangles with inner ecstasy. Air stirs within the canvas, whirls the pond's surface its luscious reflections. Flaming ruby streams through your capillaries. Beneath your forehead, as you paint the lilies.